Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that within me. Bless his holy name. And forget not all his benefit who redeemeth our life from destruction and crown it thee with loving kindness. Greetings to the entire members of the body of Christ that tune in to Gospel Way Assembly of Praise. Uh -huh. Many, many Bible studies. And I want to thank you one and all for tuning in to participate in this great ministry. Amen. And we are glad to be in Bible study one more night, one more Tuesday. God is good. And we are on the same subject. Is that all right? Amen. We are on the same subject. The indwelling spirit. And before we touch into the Holy Word, we just ask missionary to just breathe a short word of prayer. Amen. That's good. Amen. Missionary, it's your turn. Praise God. Praise hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Kind, hallelujah. righteous, and most adorable God and Father mm. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the absolute and self-existing God, the creator and the sustainer of the universe. Once again, we come into your presence, O oh God, to acknowledge you and to hear and to eat and to know more about you. And as your man servant sits, O oh God, mm -hmm. to dissect your word and to impart it unto us. God, I pray that the airways will be clear, that the ears will Thank hear. You, my oh God, God the believers will come to be strengthened. Those that are unsaved will come to know you as God. Father, I pray that you will radiate this place. Hallelujah. Stay full control, God. Jesus. Let whatever has been Jesus. said and done, it will Thank be done to the honor and glory of Thank your holy you. name. Oh God, I pray tonight for those who are down, those who are are cast down those mm. who are God who are sick those who are mm. uh, unstable tonight Lord I lift everyone into your hand those who are in charge oh God those who govern mm. oh God and those who oppose father they are all in your hands the creation was made and God it was made according to your will and your plan and your Thank purpose you, Jesus. so even Thank now God I pray that you'll come and take your stand of abode and God let your word dwell within us richly God that we may mm. be able to stand against the walls of the enemy just have your own way Again, Lord, I pray for the manservant you. that your Holy Spirit will, oh God, come and abide, abide with him, oh God, and give him clarity mm. of understanding that when he impart your word to us, that God, it will be well accepted. Not of our will, Lord, but let your will be done even now Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Bless you, God. Bless Thank God. You. Let's get to Rambo and get Amen. into the word of God. Uh, Luke 15. And we want to just look back and the elder brother, his behavior, his conduct, his deportment, his service, and we could just look at the moment, the moment when he came home. So let's let's take our time. According to the scripture from Luke 15, and I'm picking up from verse 25. Luke 15, verse 25, and it reads like this from this King James Version. Now his elder brother, his elder brother, was in the field and as he came and drew nigh to the house as he drew nigh to the house the moment he drew nigh to the house something change is hearing change is listening change is movement something 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 he heard music one and he heard dancing two uh -huh. The moment he reached at the house, he heard a different sound, a different thing is happening. And the Bible says he heard dancing, and then he says something is wrong. And he called one of the servants and said and asked what these things meant. Something is not matching up here. I want to know what is going on here. Clear as crystal. And so when we look, we heard what verse 26 said. We hear what verse 25 said. And now we are here what verse 27 says. Is that cool? Yes. And he said unto him, Note, he said unto him, The moment... He said unto him, listen, thy brother is come. 
that a serious moment, a decision making, has to activate in this elder brother who was not at home. But the moment has arrived when he reached home, trouble is in the making. Thy brother is come. One, two. And thy father has killed the fatted calf. The moment he heard about the fatted calf, something began to trigger inside of him. Something begin to activate inside of him. Something begin to e e erosion up inside of him. The moment he heard that the fattened calf has been killed. Because he had received, oh yeah, the, 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 the servants give him the answer. Because he has received, because he has received him safe and sound. The moment has came when he heard what has happened. The moment has came when the Bible says in verse 28, and he was angry. The moment has arrived that angry begin to bubble up with inside of this elder brother. I, 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 I did not say it. The Holy Scripture said it. And he was angry. One, two, and would not go in. Would not go in. In where? Inside of the celebration location that was going on for the younger brother. Fops. He would not go in. The moment has arrived. When he would not go in. Why he would not go in. Note in my theory. Is because of the news. Of what 27 said to him. <laughs> the servant in verse 27. Has given, given to him the information. And the information is not in other words. Digest good with him are second with him oh yes the moment has came now that he heard what is happening he heard music he heard dancing and i believe he might be heard singing and i begin might be heard some rejoicing and some clapping uh, i'm just saying i might think that he heard those things too but when the servant give him the full information the moment has arrived when he said no way i am not go in hallelujah and we find that daddy has to come out because the elder brother would not go in to the enjoyment to the celebration to the rejoicing to forgiving, oh yes, to have compassion, to have mercy. He would not go in to participate in none of these characteristic qualities that I just says. He would not go in to wear the hugging that the father gave to the younger uh, her son when he came home. They know, sir, he would not go in to go see the ring that the father has place and his son that come home. He would not go in to see the robe that the father has given to the younger son. The moment has arrived that I'm not going inside there. I don't want to see nothing. What wrong with you, elder brother? I will tell you. The spirit of anger the moment has arrived that the spirit of anger begin to radiate inside of him. Bitterness begin to activate inside of him. Oh yes, and when all these things begin to radiate up inside of you, it drive you nuts. Disrespectful 
Oh, behavior is gone wayward. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hungry cause you to begin to beat up on your own self. Yeah. Because it's one brother, one father, and you begin to beat up on yourself. He's not beating up on the younger brother. He's beating up on him own self. The scripture didn't say the younger brother was angry. No, sir. He was rejoicing. Coming home. That's why I tell you when people won't forgive you of whatever you miss the mark with. Eh? Let them alone. Keep the baggage. Because unforgiveness in your heart is baggage. Amen. Is garbage. Yes. Keep it. Don't forgive me. Mm. Where's my heavenly father? Forgive me. I am all right with that, brother. Because the moment has arrived when God already forgive the young man journey out of the pig pen, coming Amen. home to him, Father. What's wrong with you, elder brother? Something radically wrong with you because you possess the spirit of the Pharisees. And we are going to dig up some Pharisees' behavior to prove that the scripture can't wrong. Amen. Tell the brother, behave yourself. You're acting wayward. You're acting awkward. Oh, I'm backward. Behave yourself, elder brother. What's wrong? Why aren't you going to see your brother in that robe? Oh, maybe he'll commit suicide if he see the robe. <laughs> I believe he would commit suicide if he see the ring. Robe ring. The ring, so the circle of love from the father has hugged the son that who were hanging out with. Oh, oh, all that according to him. But that did not shake daddy. That did not move daddy from uh, his own son. Just like the heavenly father, a lot of us messed up big time. Uh, yeah, yeah. If we should move this thing here and God should judge us accordingly, then you could not even walk on the street. Shame you'd have to cover your face. Praise God. That, 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 not nice. But yes, it's true because we all has missed the mark. We all has come short. We all are Mathana. We miss it because of our old man Adam flesh this young man does return home but it aggravate his elder brother look good when he got the news that moment when he heard that he had received him safe and so on receive what take him back in here and that did not rest sit well with the elder brother take him back in we're in this house so let's take our time now and see that daddy has came out and he entreat him to come in entreat him to get out of your arms Entreat him to take it easy. It's your brother. Don't mess this party. Don't cause no derailment. Don't cause no trouble. Daddy, I must be saying more than just entreat him and it done. No. I beseech you, come inside. I beg of you, come inside. But that did not persuade him full enough. But he read that to hold to the old style Pharisees' behavior. Let's look at some moments when Jesus meet up some of these Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes. We note from the beginning of Jesus' earthly ministry, he has demonstrated the divine power throughout the whole of Judah, Samaria, and you call somewhere Galilee, all over he demonstrated his divine power through miracles. Yes, sir. And this confounded the Pharisees, them, and the Sadducees, and the scribes. 
and the teachers of the law. That's what caused the Pharisees. Oh yes, the moment has arrived when Jesus came and they see they prefer to know that the people were under pressure, oppressive measurement. And all the miracles and power that Jesus done, note is here, it came from God. The miracle of what daddy, the terrestrial father, has done, it came from the heavenly father through the earthly father to deliver to the son. Amen. Oops. Did you miss that? What the earthly father ran to do is what Jesus would do for you. Run to deliver you from the hostility of the enemy that clutches you into the jurisdiction of the power of darkness. And he walk over in wherever you is and rescue you, deliver you from the power of the clutches. And so we find that all his miraculous power came from God. But these Jewish sect believers, Pharisees, their group represent the trust of the law. From the Judaism. And yet Jesus interpret the scripture accurately. Uh -huh, differently from how some of the Pharisees choose to defend their interpretation of the law. And we find that they hold on to all of their authority, their oral tradition, their oral creeds. Their formality, oh yes, and all if it even cost them, uh huh. By any means, they would not let go of their tradition. It just put me in the mind of some religion right now in this secret administration of the grace of God. Some people still hold on to the tradition, creeds, and formality. Oh yes, they hold it. Dare you try to persuade them? They will not. And so we find one of the Pharisees, man, who thought that he could entrap Jesus. And his name is Nicodemus. From the book of John chapter 3. Let's look in John chapter 3. Ah, yes, yes, yes. John chapter 3. And let's see how scripture speak to us. John chapter 3. Hear me out as I look into the scripture. There was a man. The Bible said there was a man of the Pharisees. I'm reading from 3 verse 1. Named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jew. Did you see that? person who is in high authority named Nicodemus. We notice Nicodemus, the word here, ruler, suggests archion, mean authority, yes. one who of the power, predominantly from the San Idrin Council. Oh yes, Nicodemus came by night according to the scripture. The same came to Jesus by night. Mm. Notice he has something on his heart. Yes. Something in his, in his mind. Mm. And the Bible says, and I quote accordingly. He said unto him, Rabbi. It means teacher. Yes. <laughs> Rabbi. We know that thou art, oh here he hands it himself, a teacher. Oh God Almighty, I feel preaching coming in on my head, man. A uh, teacher uh -huh, come from God. Oh yes, for no man, Nicodemus testimony said, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Oh clearly seems to indicate that the influential religious leader were convinced that Christ was a teacher, came from the Almighty, the 
Baal, the supreme subject, the source of fountain life, breath, and intelligence. That's why Paul would say, in him we live and move and have our being. Uh, 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 Nicodemus is accurately right. Amen. He declared that no man could do what you are doing except he come from God. Because of all these miraculous operations that you are doing. Jesus, you are more than just what you are doing. Note as he went on further in John chapter 3. He says, Jesus now have the answer for Nicodemus. <laughs> in other words, in other words, listen carefully. The father as the answer for his elder son. Yes. Jesus have the answer for Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. Who Nicodemus is, is Jesus' son. I, I just lost you. Well, God, son. And the father, the terrestrial father, have the answer for the elder brother. Entreat him to come. He said, no. Here goes Jesus' answer to Nicodemus. He said unto him, Verily, verily, in other words, maybe we read reading the next version, Truly, truly, I say unto thee, Except a man be born anew, yes. are born again, Amen. he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus was reading right through Nicodemus like a book. Just like how the daddy was reading through the elder brother like a book. Daddy was only propagating the good news to a stubborn spirit that dwells in the elder brother. And as I said, it's the spirit of the Pharisees. Oh yes, let's dig up this thing some more. Notice Nicodemus came to Christ. Christ made a statement very clear to Nicodemus as the new birth. The elder brother need new birth to go in. New birth. The whole birth that he have on could not go in. That moment that he have to come out. Here goes the word. Here goes the word. And Nicodemus then asks, Three questions about the statement. Oh, yes. Except a man be born anew. The word born again yes. comes from the Greek word. Ah, no thing. Ah, no thing. It means from above. And nothing, it means you got to burn a new from above. What the new from above mean, Pastor? Unless a person is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Why? Because the kingdom of God is high ruler by the Almighty God and chosen by God, called by God, set apart by God, converted by God, consecrated by God. Did you hear those words? Nicodemus, he people had referred to Ionian life. Nicodemus question here now revealed that he did not grasp the spiritual inspiration and revelation that Christ has given to him. Let's look into the Bible. Nicodemus said unto him, Oh, can. <laughs> Here goes the elder brother is saying to daddy, Oh, can I go in to the house? How can I go into the house when such a operation is taking place? Because angry that spirit of anger held him captive. Have him 
hold under his hospitality. And that is jurisdiction. Let's go. Nicodemus, with his expertise and his knowledge, as he asks a threefold question, here goes the Sanhedrin, I ruler, have a problem. With what the Messiah says to him. And listen. Nicodemus said oh, unto him. Oh, can a man be born when he is old? You see, Nicodemus left out something. Right in this portion of scripture in verse 4. Jesus never tell him just to born. He tell him born anew. He says, how oh, can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother womb and be born? Excuse me now. In a theological terminology, Nicodemus is fully blinded to the apprehension of the truth of what the mess messiah was saying to him a man in high authority so blinded and i can't blame him because there is a spirit of the pharisees in him too jesus has to go root up that spirit of the pharisees for him to come to the realization and come with a spirit of wisdom knowledge and understanding wherein he can see that there is no way somebody can go burn a second time nicodemus says this jesus now, listen, if you look in verse 5 of John chapter 3, and you look in verse 3 of John chapter 3, Jesus is using the same method, the same truth, the same rhema, the same words to Nicodemus in verse 5. Note what Jesus says in verse 5. Jesus said again, Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say unto thee, I, I, I say unto thee, except a man be born one of the water and of the spirit. Oh God, that blow Nicodemus away for a long six he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Nicodemus is terrestrially blinded to the apprehension of the gospel of the conciliation. Oh yes, look good. The spirit thing, the spiritual things that Jesus was dishing out to Nicodemus, this revealed that he did not grasp the truth of spiritual meaning of the Lord's statement. He did not grasp spiritual interpretation, spiritual understanding, spiritual knowledge, and spiritual motivation. He did not grasp none of these things. Nicodemus, except the negative vibes, the negative answer, the negative thoughts, and the negative behavior, he answered to a question however Christ answered by explaining the good news the new birth to Nicodemus the elder brother now daddy have to come out to explain the new birth the new revelation the new forgiveness the new mercy the new compassion the new love to the elder brother because he have the angerness Amen. dwells within him. He can't Amen. grasp it. Amen. Anger block it Bitterness hindering. Amen. What daddy was saying just a bunks. 
He can't come to the realization that daddy taking the other son. No, 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 notice. Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say unto you, he must be born of the water, born of the spirit. In other words, those are heavenly things, not earthly. That's what daddy come out to hand to the elder brother. No terrestrial things. No enmity, no anger, no bitterness, no malice, no greed, no backbiting. Oh, yes. No, sir. Jesus is saying to Nicodemus, hear what verse 6 says. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. We could spend three here, right here, so I don't move. Amen. The disposition of the flesh is death. Amen. But the Spirit of God gives life. Daddy come out to deliver the elder brother from the disposition of the flesh and the bitterness and the angerness and the wantonness and the greediness and the lustfulness. He come to deliver him. Uh, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And the flesh thing held us back. The flesh held us captive. The flesh held us on the wantonness, last viciousness, held us on the pridefulness, warmongerness. Hallelujah. Jesus says in John 6, I'm tying in John 6 with Luke 15. And if you're just joining us, we are on the same subject, the indwelling spirit. And when the indwelling spirit within inside of you picked up angerness, angerness is going to take up a home within you. Yes. It's going to reside in you. It's going to live within you. It's going to walk with you. Oh, shut up. Oh. It's going to talk with you. It's going to eat with you. It's going to sleep with you. It's going to be it with you. It's sit on in the car with you. It's going to go way, wherever you go. Anger going to follow you. Because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Jesus begin to contrast the physical birth. Did you hear that? The physical birth and spiritual birth. The flesh produce flesh. Oh my God. And not only just the flesh, but the flesh produce death. That's why Paul wrote in Romans said, The flesh cannot please God. It's enmity oh, towards God. It's enmity towards his brother. The flesh was raging inside of that brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. He could not see the spiritual things. Well, the spiritual produce, which is spiritual things and life eonian. The spirit produced life eonian. The flesh produced death. <clears throat> Hear me. Jesus blew his mind. Just like oh, the father blew the elder brother mind. Listen what I, I just type allergies in. Can I use a typology in verse 7? Yes. Jesus says, Marvel not that I said unto thee, he must be born again. Listen to this. Daddy is saying, Angry not that I said unto you to come in to the celebration. Amen. Angry not that I said unto you to come into the rejoicement mm -hmm. hungry not that I said come and enjoy a piece of the fatted calf hungry not to come yes. marvel not why are you marveling over what I've done to my son why are you marveling that I gave him the ring the robe the fatted calf marvel not that I have compassion on him. Marvelous. Why are you quarreling? Mm. Anger caused him to be quarreling. Yes. Anger caused him to be bitter. Anger caused him to get out of harder. 
Marvelous, marvelous. Jesus go, drive home something very critical here. Very critical. The wind blow it where it listed. Uh huh. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So is everyone that is born, everyone that is born of the Spirit. Whoops! 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 The wind here in the Greek suggests pneuma. Numa, wind or spirit, which is the same word we use for spirit. It cannot be seen or explained. The, the elder brother cannot see oh, how comes daddy could go do such a thing because daddy is operating in the spiritual realms. Hallelujah. That is not operating in a terrestrial warfare, fleshy fight with his son. Because daddy know for truth that it's a spirit drag him from out of his home, take him into a far country, land him into the riotous living, reckless living, careless living, moving from there, go hook him up with a man of the far country, and the men of the far country send him into the pig house, the pig pen. Then what you want? daddy to do no rescue his son you ask yourself the question what you want daddy to do mm, leave him into the go, in other words go back to where you're coming from no way or say it means that daddy would not possess that spirit of Christ within him back to the scripture the wind blow, the wind blow, the wind can only be heard or observed in relation to itself. Oh, what the daddy, what daddy come out to do is to let the son know that what I does, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. I call my son and hug him. I kiss him. I don't even care which pig he was hanging out with. Or which harlot he was mingling. Oh, Shande Kosataya. I don't care which harlot he was hanging out with. It's my son. Hallelujah. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Yes, the elder brother is saying, How can these things be, daddy? I'm not coming inside. How can these things be? A spirit of anger. Held him captive. How can this thing be? Nicodemus asks his third question. Oh, can he asks the same question as before in uh, verse 3, verse 4, and now he's at verse 9 and he's still asking the same question. Jesus, now listen what Jesus has to do. Rebuke Nicodemus. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, a master of the Sanhedrin council, a master in teaching, a master of the Pharisees, and know it not these things? In other words, Jesus is saying, What a simple math I gave to you, and you cannot answer it. One plus one is two. Love thy neighbor is what the Bible says. Forgive thy brother. Elder brother, this goes for you. Cannot anger the simple thing that daddy is saying to you. Jesus now has to rebuke him in doing so. Bring Nicodemus to the point of submission. Both master teacher in Israel definitely struck a card in Nicodemus' head. Here goes the word. Christ rebuked Nicodemus. I asked him the question and said, Are you the teacher of Israel and you ignorantly, uh -huh, wantonestly of these things and ignorant of these things? Nicodemus, you need a new art. Nicodemus, you need a new spirit. Nicodemus, I, I, I'm saying to you, look into Exodus 11 when you get time and verse 19. You not, we don't have time for that. But you can pull it up. Jesus is saying to you, you need a new art. Amen. Your art is stony and fleshy. 
you need the spiritual art. Nicodemus, Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou the master of Israel and knowest not these things? Verily, again, truly, truly, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen and yet receive not oh my god our witness oh if i have told you earthly things we come in deep now if i am preaching earthly things to some people they will understand but once heavenly thing spiritual thing is being preached oh i don't want to hear that pastor i don't want to hear that the, the father come out preaching uh -huh, spiritual things to the son and he refused I, if I told you earthly things and he believed not, how shall he believe if I tell you of heavenly things? No, sir. And no man has ascended up in heaven, but he that came down from heaven. You see that? The heavenly father sent out the earthly father. Can I preach a little bit here? To the elder brother. And he hold on to the earthly things. Oh, yes. And if you look back into the scripture, he makes sure lay out the earthly things that he done. Amen. He says, look, I'm here with you all these years. Mm. I work night and day. I work morning and evening. I work even when the Sabbath night came in. And still, my God, you did not give me nothing. What kind of father are you? Mm -hmm. But as soon as this thy son came, did you hear that? As soon as this thy son come home, who take your inheritance and go live up life with all that your inheritance and go wantonlessly and recklessly and carelessly wasting it yes. did you listen that spirit of the pharisees mm. did you hear that voice of the spirit of the pharisees is speaking to his earthly father remember the heavenly father sent the earthly father to go out to speak with him but yet he possessed that spirit of anger Hallelujah. And the Bible says, the Bible says, the young man was hungry. Mm. Notice Jesus drive it home with Nicodemus. And he said, he says, Nicodemus, Nicodemus, verily, verily, in other words, truly, truly, amen, amen. I say to unto thee, in speaking for his followers, Christ remind Nicodemus, get it straight, that they were saying what they knew mm -hmm, and were testifying of what they had seen. Mm -hmm. The reality of the new birth the reality of the new birth was known to them by experience. However, the question of blindness of Nicodemus led the Lord to say he received not our witness. Did you see that? They gladly listen what Jesus said in verse 11. Verily, very I say unto thee, we speak that we do they know the ordinances they know the law cover to cover they know the rules <laughs> and testify did you hear that that we have seen just like the elder brother was testifying of what he has done testify of what he knew but look my brother, my sister, testify that we have seen. No, now. And he received not our witness. He would not receive the witness of what daddy has done for his brother, for his son. 
He don't want to bear no witness of what daddy done. Thank God he wasn't home when daddy ran to hug, kiss, compassion, ring, robe, sandals. This thy son. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus says he received not our witness. He did not receive his father witness into him. The moment he heard what has transpired about his brother, the Bible says he was angry. The moment has arrived that daddy has to come out to beseech him, to persuade him, to entreat him. Say, come. But he refused. Nicodemus did not just like this elder brother acknowledge what is happening. We could go later down and see what happened to Nicodemus during the time when he was uh, one to take in Jesus. And verse 13 says, and, and about to laugh, And no man had ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. The Father came down to the elder brother came to a low level by coming out of his celebration for his son to entreat the elder brother say come yes. did you see what anger can do mm. held you captive yes. held you as a monster because, because it's rage oh, inside oh. the yes. heart it mm. take root yes. within the heart. It take bitterness yes. within the heart. And I say, God bless you this night. The peace of God be with you. You heard these words, and if you want to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray with you right now. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for the peace. We thank you for the love, the joy. We thank you for delivering us out of the clutches of the wicked adversary. And we bless you for what you have done, Lord. We beseech you even now. Have mercy upon us all. Thank you for your blessing now, Lord. We give you the praise and the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And if your heart desire. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. And if your heart desire, go and cash up. Dollar sign. One word. Gospel way. Amen. Church. God bless you. In Jesus name. Now may grace, mercy and peace from God the Father. And our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. 